1992 was a big year at Colorado's ballot box, at least for lawyers. Voters passed Anti-Gay Amendment 2, which was tossed quickly by the U.S. Supreme Court, as well as the Taxpayer Bill of Rights. An anti-Tabor case finally got its day in the highest court this year, and the Supremes wound up tossing it back to the Colorado Court of Appeals. The decision doesn't bode well for the plaintiffs. They argued that allowing the people to limit the legislature's financial powers violated the U.S. Constitution's guarantee that states have a Republican form of government. The court, however, praised direct democracy and said it was in full harmony with the Constitution. More than 20 years after Coloradans approved the Taxpayer Bill of Rights, given the Supreme Court's action, it looks like we'll have Tabor to kick around for many more years and to inspire many more debrucing ballot measures, like the Colorado Marijuana Tabor refund vote coming up in November. Tabor has forced the legislature to set priorities and balance the budget. It has eliminated deficits and debt and constrained taxation and the growth of government. Colorado boasts a stronger economy than many states. Other states should adopt it. And given Congress's deplorable record, a constitutional Tabor amendment would save the republic.